Hello, it's me, Jimmy T. Mary with the PMU. Today, talk about easy tattoo machine adjustable stroke Lola, Lola Air Pro. Instead of full flow, flow, full. Okay, I don't talk about full flow today. Adjustable stroke, full flow. Thank you so much for correct my the broken English. Now, this is some people concerned is the adjustable stroke full pro is it good for PMU now another audience is told me about easy tattoo they have one adjustable stroke is for PMU now number one I'm going to do of course open box number two is like we're going to do some test okay and then at the end I will tell you okay should you buy it or what is my feeling about it and then one more thing I want to bring up if you are a teacher or you have a school or you are the mentor okay is it is that a good machine for your student for the first machine okay another of course if you a beginner is it a good machine so now open box the box okay pretty good better than mass okay So of course they come with a manuals. I believe English, uh, Chinese. I believe it's uh, Spanish as well. So now the machines have six adjustable strokes. It's, I believe it's two point zero, two point two. 2.5, 2.8, So very easy to address, okay? Very easy to address. They come with a extra battery. So as a backup, yeah, pretty good. So, and then another RCA cable adapter. I'm gonna test it all, of course. Now open it up. The packaging better than must. Better than must. They come with one USB adapter and then one USB type C cable. Okay, this is all they come with, I believe, yes. Okay, pretty good, like about uh, under $200. So this is the addressable, oh, this is grip. Grip is very small. I believe it's like, how many? They, on the manual, they can talk about, okay. The grip size is like 22 millimeters. The length is 143 millimeters. The weight is so light, like about 11, it's 111 gram, 111 gram. If you compare to full pro, is this is about 200 something without battery so the weight is about half okay very light the grip is very good for small hand the voltage is 3 volts to 10 volts this is how to get my attention is they can start with 3 volts okay and the adjustable short we can go lower to 2 Okay, let's do some tests. Okay, this is adapter type C. Now the charge is in the back side. Okay, when they charge, they show you how many percentage. How many percentage are they charging? It's purple. This is the LCD display is purple. Okay, pretty good. Now, same thing, long press to start. Now today I'm gonna using the uh, inking. This is number 12, number 12. So number 12 is equal to uh, 0 0.35 millimeters okay 01 round 9 so let's test a little bit while patient okay 
So this is three volts. Okay, three. Now this is passes, of course. Increase the voltage. Now this is 10. The vibration still very little, still very little. Now these similar machines. Very quiet this one. This is uh, 10. Okay, let's. Hold on to 7. Very quiet. Wait, how about 3? 3 almost say nothing. Battery, which is like, I like it, like, instead of. Always the battery problem. So now, let's test about the RCA cable. Of course, this does not come with it. I can using this adapter for my power supply. Very light, very small pen. So let's start. Well, this is like 12. So let me. So now I'll come back. Like, I'm going to do some tests today, of course, using uh, PMU ink. Ever after, and you need to shape it like crazy, like at least like 20 seconds. So about 10 jobs to do some tests. So the test today I'm going to be using like 2.0 first. 2.0 like to 3.3. So the voltage I started at 3. So 2.0, you can see it, and then start at 3. Okay. So the hand speed I'm going to be using, um, maybe uh, medium. So hopefully this angle will be able to see better. Oh, when I want 2.0, like 3 voltage is too slow, I believe. Too slow. Let, let me see the line. Two points is too light to me sometimes. So, yeah, anyway, I keep doing the test. 
see, can I figure out something like funny, difficult, something new? Now the voltage, like as a 2.0, I increased to 4 voltage, the shading a lot better. Okay, increase to five. Yeah, because of the way it's so light, I can even can do the pendulum technique on the petty skin as well. Well, with the voltage at 6 I can control pretty well although this is a new machine to me I need to get used to it I finally finished okay so now I do some final tests okay I figured out something like very interesting is the uh, lining especially for nano machine hair strip Whew, this machines for shading is <clears throat> they said that this is the machine's motor is 7,000 rpm but I don't know 7,000 rpm uh, which voltage when they're using is equal to 7,000 rpm so now when I do like 2.5 I need to run almost like 8 or like 2.8 I like the best 2.8 using 8 voltage to have the best result on shading now one thing I figured out very funny is my favorite 
okay? When I doing lining, let me double check, prove myself is it correct? Okay, it's three point zero when I wanting two point eight. It's kind of funny. Two point eight. One more try. Yeah, too slow. Let me run about 3.5 at Yeah, like when you running 2.8 short length, okay, with voltage 3 or 3.5, I feel it's the best, okay, because of the vibration is very less, and then because of the voltage so low, I can kind of feel the vibration, the, the frequency or the response back from this practice skin. I can able to control even the deepness very well. So, I'm also confused when you're wanting a nano machine hair stroke. Like some people, oh, do a lining, you should have a high stroke, and then like one little bit faster, the voltage. But sometimes you need to like try opposite, you do some extreme. Try like the stroke length go low a little bit, and then the voltage go low down a little bit. Maybe you find out the secret. So. For shading, this machine is kind of weak. You need to one higher voltage than normal to get very pixelized, get very smooth. Um, now, if you ask me, is it these machines can replace all those machines right here? So now this is, I think, Browse Daddy CLEO one is two point three. Now this is two point five. This is two point seven. This is three. This is three point five. So one machines can replace maybe five or six machine. Is it true? Yes or no? Uh, for the shading, for the power, the motor is not enough, but to a point, to a very low voltage, I love it. Um, as a beginner, you can use it like different stroke length, different voltage like me to test, okay, which one is the best for you so far. And then in the future, you decide, oh, okay, I like 2.8 stroke length, okay, you might think about Okay, uh, buy something similar like Browse Daddy or something like that, Beller, something like that. This is like give you idea and then you, very good for practice because the weight is so light as well. When you do some swing, it's okay, you know, for me, it's a little bit too light for me. Uh, but at the beginning, perfect because your, especially your muscles, especially your pinky wing, is not strong enough. If you're using like a little bit more heavier machines, you will get tired so easy. Even though I, I, doing this demonstration, my pinky is so tired 
as well because I need to adjust like different uh, voltage, <laughs> different swing speed. I need to get used to as well. So, if you a mentor, uh, should you like suggest your student to buy something like that? Uh, yes, yes, I, I would say yes. So this is what like more PMU side, and then the full pro is more like tattoo side. Can I ask you questions? I won't even though I I will keep it. Uh, maybe after like a couple months, something like that, I might okay. I figured out something differently. Okay, and thank you so much for the audience. Tell me, hey, this is the machine you should buy uh, to try it out. Easy, easy tattoo machines. Yeah, not bad, you know. Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.